In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7 to the Samsung DeX to a monitor with USB-C. Okay, so let's begin with the fact that if you want to use Samsung DeX, which lets you use your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7 sort of as a computer. You can see I have this uh, desktop right here and I, if I open the touchpad mode on the device, then I can simply start moving the mouse around. You can see it all works. I can also plug in external keyboard and mouse um, and if you want to do it, you can do it in two different methods, e either by USB-C or by HDMI. First, let's talk about USB-C because that's what the video is about. You will need a USB-C cable that supports data transfer because not all cables will support it, but there are cables on the market that do. Mm, and typically, like more expensive cables will do, but if you are planning on buying a cable uh, for this mode, if you don't have any cable at home that works for, with it, then you may want to get uh, the, the one that supports data transfer. You may check it on the website of the seller. Now, <clears throat> uh, also uh, your monitor has, support, has to support USB-C for that mode with the USB-C cable. So if your monitor doesn't have a USB-C port, then uh, you probably may want to actually use the HDMI method, which I'll talk about in a moment. Now, all you need to do is connect those together with the USB-C, your flip and the monitor, and make sure to select USB-C as a source on your monitor. If on your monitor there is no USB-C as a source, then either it was not detected or your monitor doesn't support a, a USB-C input. But uh, what is a very big advantage of the USB-C connection is that some monitors, including the one that I have right here, support charging your phone at the same time while um, while being the monitor so you can display the image from your phone and get your phone charged at the same time. Now let's talk about a second method, the HDMI. I'm gonna actually unplug the phone just to show you here I have the phone right and I have an adapter. I have it's called a hub because on one end it's USB-C then here I have quite a few ports, U HDMI, power delivery input, which means I can charge my device up to 100 watts with this port. Then there is a USB-C data port, the USB-A twice and Ethernet port even. But of course, if you get a cable that's just USB-C to HDMI, that's also great or if it's USB-C to HDMI and USB-C so we can charge your device at the same time while using the monitor. But now remember that um, if you just use the HDMI, HDMI doesn't input power to your phone, so it won't get charged unless you have an adapter that supports both HDMI and USB-C at the same time. Now all you need to do is plug in the HDMI cable to your monitor also What's worth noting, there are cables on the market that are USB-C to HDMI, so you don't need an adapter if you have that sort of cable. Now, I'm gonna plug in my, my adapter. Then, to the adapter, I will plug in the HDMI cable that I have in my monitor currently. Just like that. Now, most probably, it'll already get it displayed. Uh, if it's not being displayed right now, there is a chance that most probably mm, you need to go to settings of your Z Flip 7. Also remember that Z Flip 7 FE does not support Samsung DeX, only supports mirror mode. Now let's get to the settings. If you don't know if you have a Z Flip 7 or a Z Flip 7 FE, simply 
close your lid and if the display is full screen then it's great if uh, it has this like weird shape around the cameras um, if cameras aren't a punch hole they are rather a notch then it's the FE version now uh, in the settings you may need to go to connected devices Samsung DeX and go to connected display then make sure it's selected as extended once it's selected as extended then it should be working now you can either connect a bluetooth keyboard and mouse or usb keyboard and mouse if you have a hub that has usb ports like in my case as you saw previously um, or you can go to a notification on your phone to find use your phone as a touchpad click on that now your phone will become a touchpad and right now it is vertical a vertical touchpad but i think it's better to have a horizontal touchpad right so you may notice this very small icon right here at the top which shows sort of some rotation and you need to double click on it it will move to the vertical mode now place your phone however you want it and start using it now i'm using the touchpad you can see the mouse cursor is moving i can do whatever i want here i can go to the settings right there's also mirror mode by the way in the uh, dex mode but mirrored all it does is it mirrors your phone screen so it's not really interesting honestly but let's switch it back to extended and i'm gonna open the touchpad now something isn't working correctly okay now i have fixed it there was something like the cursor that was supposed to be on this screen was showing on my samsung uh, yeah, and uh, feel free to use your DEX now. If you are wondering about more things about the DEX, check out other videos about DEX on our channel and feel free to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.